I'm going to talk about uh, one of the challenges that we have in uh, the domain of the LibreOffice uh, in terms of getting a help language that could help users and, and keep a lot of um, um, requirements in maintaining documentation and synchronize it with the uh, development. Uh, my name is Olivier. I am from the Document Foundation. I uh, have been involved in LibreOffice since the beginning. I live in Brazil, which is quite hot at the moment, 42 degrees. And uh, I'm also the translator for Brazilian Portuguese. So I handle not only the generation of documentation, but also the issue of translating the documentation. Uh, what we have is that why we need a help language. Because historically, the developers don't like to make documentations. So uh, essentially, in, in our culture, in LibreOffice, everybody writes code but doesn't like to uh, write documentation. So sometimes we have a lot of uh, new features without documentation, and this is something that we need to, to, to fix. Okay? The gap between the features and the uh, help is widening. Uh, we are working to make it uh, narrow pos possible, but it's always very hard. And the speed of development is much faster than the possibility of generating documentation, especially because uh, in our environment, documentation done, is done by volunteers. Okay? So uh, coupling the help pages and the user interface elements is a challenge. The user interface of an application like LibreOffice is extremely extensive. We have more than 1,000 dialogues. Uh, we have uh, a span of application that goes from uh, uh, spreadsheets, text documents, presentations, drawing, math equations, and databases. So it's a very broad scope of application. And we try to focus on user experience because user experience is very important for us for the, the acceptance of our of software. So <coughs> basically... What we want to achieve is uh, sort of a help language or, or XML, maybe uh, XML or whatever, Markdown, uh, as open as possible, okay? So no way to use uh, closed tools or paid tools or proprietary tools. Flexible that allows specific uh, situations such as translations. It has to be precise because essentially the help that we have in LibreOffice is also some form of a references for regressions and feature descriptions. We would like, and this is one of the main issues, is to be contributor friendly. Uh, today it's not contributor friendly because we have a cycle of development that includes the help pages into Git, and this is not very easy for the newcomers. Okay, and keep the pace of development. That means don't let this uh, gap widen. Okay, very well. Uh, so basically, uh, the specific of LibreOffice help, it's an application with a broad scope, like I said. All the modules are tightly coupled. I mean, uh, we don't have a, a spreadsheet application. We don't have a a uh, text document application. This is all integrated into a big application with several modules. We have a legacy XML, uh, key, which is uh, inherited from OpenOffice. Um, the, the help that we have at the moment is above 500,000 words, which makes a book thick as this one. Okay, so we have to maintain and keep keep uh, alive. It's mostly textual and few images. There is not multimedia at the moment, but uh, the idea is to extend that for including new forms of, of uh, communication between uh, the help and the user. And we have a translation process in place that works. That means uh, LibreOffice is translated into about 100 languages. So we need to have the, we need to address the translation. We do, uh, do we do that? Which also means that it's very hard for us to 
change the process in place because we are touching about 100 teams of translators. And when we do a mistake times 100, that makes a lot of noise. Okay? So this is what the challenge that we have. And what we do propose with, us, with what we have is that we have a set of XML and namespace uh, that we want to improve for describing the menu path, the widgets, screenshots of the dialogues, describe icons and toolbars, includes multimedia, uh, address the guide for the user and not only references, and also do indexing and search and save the translation work. So at the moment, only half of these uh, specifications are already uh, working. And this, this is, uh, we have others to address. Okay? For example, in the mu menu, we, uh, the menus in the application are described by an XML. And we would like to have these menu paths described in the, help, the textual help directly taken from the application, okay? So we should use a transformation that picks the XML of the menus and the commands and put into the help directly. So if we change the position of these menus, automatically the help will change as well, okay? This, this is one of the challenge that we have, okay? The same for the widgets of the dialogues, for example, uh, not only we take, have to take the, the, the widget itself, the representation of the widget, but also its contents, which is, has to be translated. Okay, so again, we can use the dialogues, XML, which is something used by GTK. We, uh, the dialogues are in a GTK language, and to bring that into the helper pages. Uh, icons and toolbars, we have to describe the icon, icons and toolbars for improvements on the icon designs. On the last uh, couple of years, we had a lot of discussion in, in LibreOffice design team. Uh, there is quite new icons coming, icon sets, so the interface may appear different from you. Uh, from one user to the other, depending on the set of icons that you use. And it, this has to be also covered by the help application. Yeah? Okay. The screenshots, we would like to, uh, we have already uh, screenshots done by simple uh, copy of the screen, which is an, in an automated process. But it would be nice to have it also <coughs> using the XML to generate the image. <laughs> Images is already implemented, so no problem there. And also we have uh, some uh, issues or uh, uh, problems to address, which, which means uh, our system or our application runs on Mac, Win, Windows, and Unix. And uh, it de depending on the, uh, the system, you have some features implemented on Mac, which, which is not implemented on Windows. Uh, very few of them, not, but don't that, not that much, but nevertheless, it, we have to address this difference between the systems. Okay. We have uh, also uh, inline context, switch, context switches or block content switches. Okay. Uh, for the visual uh, uh, part, we, ha we are implementing a specific uh, uh, text to describe Python code and basic codes, and also code in general, and uh, icons specifically to icon, icon tables. <coughs> when it comes to tips, notes, and warnings, this is already done. It's quite easy to just uh, address the CSS, but it's, uh, it's the way that we have also to uh, enhance the, um, the um, uh, layout of our pages. Okay. For everything that, like that, we also have character, character set, character classes uh, for specific contents of the, uh, the description on the helper pages, such as uh, literal information. Input is something that allows us to click on a, a, uh, 
class inputs and then it copies to the clipboard so you can if you have a code or or a spreadsheet formula you can just copy the formula and look it working directly in the in the application okay. this is for better user experience uh, widgets I told I already talked about menus and key codes also for the, all the key keyboard codes that we we have in the application uh, we develop also a a online editor it this is the very first alpha pre-alpha uh, display we have the XML of the, or rend of uh, our editor some of these blocks can be automated and we also can render the content of the page uh, immediately after we edit here uh, you edit here you click on render and it displays the page there um, <coughs> our help system is uh, a sub module in in git so every every time we change the xml we have to create a commit and uh, push to the to get it it's going to be reviewed by someone uh, you can imagine that reviewing xml is not something easy it's quite uh, complicated so we are trying to uh, connect this kind of uh, editor which this is just code mirror okay very well known uh, JavaScript editor and it's the same as Garrett so we expect to be able to edit directly the pages in Garrett and get the results and submit the patch automatically and uh, we would like to avoid all the work that uh, today uh, volunteers have which means download the code compile the code compile the help uh, see check if the change is correct and then get, generate a, pa a patch and, and push to, to the so this cycle is extremely lengthy and it takes a lot of time for us for me the, who is killed it takes at least one hour to gener generate all the stuff okay then what's next we are uh, it is an interest to investigate then the uh, XML transformations for dialogues menus and toolbars we also would like to converge the help with these existing open document guides which is a project we call convergence we have guides that has been written by uh, volunteers for example on spreadsheet the spreadsheet guide is a book with 400 pages and we would like also that this kind of information be available in the help system of our LibreOffice okay and we are open to suggestion and collaboration and if you want to join us please go ahead we are eager to get you uh, one thing that is important to say is that uh, our help system is either offline and online which means that uh, uh, today we we have this XML we do a transformation to HTML and uh, this HTML can be uploaded to a server or it, it may it can be also deployed as a package uh, for offline use and it's exactly the same layout okay so this is a, risk, a constraint that we have so it's not so easy just to generate a uh, server um, server uh, installation you have to also pack uh, the, H the HTML into a package the other thing is that uh, we have about 200 to, uh, 2500 files per language and uh, this uh, and it, it generates about uh, something like uh, 500 megabytes of of help contents okay per language so it's pretty heavy um, application that we have uh, the traffic that we have on our online service is about 60,000 visits a day of uh, people looking for help when they use the application so that's the con context that we have and the challenge that we are addressing ahead uh, we cannot use throw away our legacy content 
So uh, using a brand new tool like I have seen here is very nice, but how can I uh, address all this legacy? Especially uh, the, the, not only the legacy on English, but also the legacy on the, on the translations which uh, it's about 100 translations, so it has to be something smooth to, for us if we have to uh, get something uh, different from that. So at the moment, this is not the, the being uh, our vision. We ex expect to uh, simplify and get it easier for the people to really help us in documenting the application. Okay, that's my my presentation. Um, if you have questions, please. We have time for questions. Yes? Uh, are you familiar with the DITA project? D the DITA, the DITA uh, standards? No, no. Darwin Information Type Architecture. It's an XML language for documentation. Okay. It's huge. Uh, there's a really big community. It's, um, it's, it stands for Darwin because it's mm -hmm. adaptable. So you can, you can take the standards that has all of this that you're defining and uh, make your own specialization and then, um, and then you would be able to use their tooling. And they have an open source tool called uh, the Open Toolkit okay. uh, that allows you to, to generate a bunch of things. Yeah. It's mostly proprietary community, yeah. but um, it's an open standard. So, and, and it would be super awesome to get the uh, open source community into that. Uh, if I can introduce you. To yeah. We, we, yes, uh, we are using, of course, what all the legacy from 15 years of, uh, I mean, 20 years of uh, open office and then LibreOffice. And um, moving away of, it's not, a, it, it, we really have to make a decision. Uh, um <coughs> and if, if something is easier, is, uh, then I, I, I'm interested, it's at not least. Yeah. There's more tooling. Yeah, OK. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's, um, yeah. Uh, it's, it's also XML, so, you know. OK, yeah. yeah. But, uh, but it, it, there, that's, there's a community, um, mostly proprietary vendors that yeah. are using an open standard together. Um, and there's a lot of interest for open source tooling. Yeah. Um, so there it would be a match made in heaven. Oh, yeah. perfect, yeah. Actually, I actually have a question as well. Um, when you generate the screenshots, are you generating them per platform? Uh, you can generate the screenshots on every platform. But you automate them. So uh, it's not yet automated. Ah. I mean, you, I do a make screenshot in, the, in my build, and it generates the screen starts to flicker because it opens all the thousands of dialogues and takes a screenshot. So they run locally, not on yes. CI? Yes. No, ah. no, no. Yeah. yeah. So, and... Um, Yes, uh, um, and then you have to connect the, the, the screenshot, the image, with the dialog and with the help page corresponding. So it's, uh, and this is not yet automated. Okay. Yes? Yes? Well, uh, it's not in or it's no, uh, the translation is done by volunteers in every language. Uh, we have a, uh, used to have a leader and a team, and they handle themselves the, um, the I mean, each, each release that we have, and we have two releases per year, we publish the, the help. 99% of the help of the new release is exactly the same as the previous. So there is only the delta, the difference that is being addressed. And then the translators, the team of translators the locally is in charge of keeping the translation uh, synchronized with the help in English. Uh, this, then, then the user of their language will suffer uh, because they were not... Uh, addressing that, yeah, yeah. No, no. This is because this is a volunteer project. It's not. Uh, there is no uh, specific uh, investment by the foundation. 
into uh, generating professional documentation. Okay. It's it's it the board. The, it, this is a decision with the board of the foundation. So, so if user experience matters and there is no help, where, where is user experience with no, no help? Uh, LibreOffice is a is a project that is run by a foundation without with no uh, non for profits. Mm -hmm. So, if a company wants to take the code and improve it by by themselves, they are free for, for to do that. Okay, so at the moment uh, we generate the, the content of the help in a volunteer basis. Okay. Uh, the foundation doesn't invest in. Oh, yeah, sorry, this is not me. <laughs> okay. Any questions? Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Library Office usually has its own track somewhere as well, doesn't it? Or yeah, there is another track uh, yeah. right there, yes. So, with lots of uh, in no, no, new things. <laughs> um, we'll be back again in about eight minutes with uh, a smackdown. I'm a huge fan of Pandoc, and this next speaker wants to tell me why I shouldn't be. So. <laughs>